Welcome back all you wonderful people. My name is Pug and I hope you guys are having a schwackadack day. Welcome back to the Black Hand Gaming Guild and we're going to go ahead and continue with trying to get our blood magic altar up to tier 4 so that way we can actually get our uh, wells of soul going. Uh, so what we're going to do is we need some arcane ashes which is a redstone, a bone meal, coal, and gunpowder in a hellfire forge with no deal. So it's just in there. So we need coal. Bone meal. Ooh, if I could spell bone meal. redstone and what was the other thing gunpowder that's right gunpowder and we will go ahead and put this over here in the hellfire forge I don't think it really matters which way it goes we shall see and we're gonna go put this in Nope, it doesn't. Okay, now that we've got some arcane ash, we need some binding. We need binding regiment, which is glowstone, redstone, gunpowder, and a gold nugget. And we need at least 400 will which we did get our common tartotic gem which has 477 in it so we've got enough of that whoa we almost went off the edge so we need glowstone we need redstone uh, gunpowder And we need a gold nugget. So we'll put this in here, that in there, this in there, this in there. And since we don't have enough in here to actually do that, we will definitely need to put our common in there. It'll go up. It'll give us our binding agent. And we also we're trying to get a bound sword, which is right here. Uh, bound blade. And to get that, you need a binding agent with a diamond sword and an alchemic array. And I'll show you exactly how to do that. So we need a diamond sword. Okay, got the diamond sword. And to use this uh, ash, arcane ash, you put a, you just right click on the ground. It puts this little symbol on there. And then what you do is you put your binding agent in and it uh, expands it and then you put your diamond sword in here and it'll go you got to watch out because it gives lightning so you want to move back a little bit and it'll just be a few seconds and there we go now we've got our bound sword now it is deactivated and I'll show you exactly how to activate it now because it does use up your um, your LP whenever you use it so you don't want to 
keep it activated at all times. I think that it does use it even if it's not being used. And once you use it, once you swing it, it actually uses up more of your LP, your life points. So I would always keep it uh, deactivated unless you're wanting to use it. And the reason why we've got this is because we need these uh, large blood bloodstone bricks. And to do that, we need these weak blood shards. And the only way to get these is to kill mobs with the bound blade. So, come down here to our little mob farm. And we will go ahead and you want to uh, sneak, right click, and that will activate your bound blade. And you just kill these guys. And there we go. We've got our first weak blood shard. So I think that we need at least four of these. So have to keep going here. And it's not always a guarantee that you'll get them. So you want to just keep going until there's got two. Might not need all this many, but I just want to make sure. Okay, got four. Now, oh, and we want to go ahead and unbind it. Or deactivate it, I'm sorry. So now that we've got it deactivated, we'll go ahead and sleep. And we'll place these in here. I'd move all this stuff in there. I need our arcane ash right now. And so to make these, you need stone and a weak blood our blood. Uh, weak blood shard. I can talk, don't worry. And it makes 16, which is more than what we need. So, so we really only needed one, but I just wanted to double, make sure that we had enough. <laughs> there we go. And I did go ahead and take out our runes and put them around where we need them. Uh, you need seven on each side where there's an extra block uh, before the tower that doesn't have a rune. So that's how, that's how you make the tier 4 with the runes. And then you need the blood shard on top of the towers here. So we will go ahead and make these we need four of these one two three four and we need to go ahead and take that off put that up there put that there put that there and put it, that in there now we should have a tier 4 altar. A tier 4 altar. Awesome. And the reason why we needed that is we needed, we're needing these ritual diviners. To make the ritual diviners, you need demonic slates, which can only be produced in a blood for altar. So we need 15,000 15, LP in here. How much do we have in here? We have 
just 3,241. So let's go ahead and place this on extract. Always active. So we should be getting should be getting some in there. Yep. So we can have up to thirty thousand. We only need fifteen thousand. Uh, so your blank slate, reinforced slate, and viewed slate. So we need, uh, let's see here, we need two imbued slates, slates. So let's go ahead and see if we have those in here. Reinforce slates. Reinforce slate, so we need imbued slates. We need two of those. We need 5,000. So we need at least 10,000 in here. Imbued slate. Oh, no, 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 no. Uh, that's not what I wanted to do. Could take that out there. Okay. Okay, we've got got enough for one. So let's go ahead and place one on here. And there we go. Got one. Now we'll just need to get this up to 5,000 again, and we'll put the other one on. And I'll bring you back whenever I got that done. Okay, we're back. Um, I went ahead and started building our little structures down here so that way we can get our mobs in and I did use dark glass and I'm going to show you exactly how I created that so that way you know exactly how to make those so to make dark glass which is extra utilities 2 recipe you actually need thickened glass and a ink sack to make thickened glass, you need to smelt up sandy glass and a furnace. And to make sandy glass, you need just sand and glass. Two pieces of sand, two pieces of glass. And this configuration makes four sandy glass. So I went ahead and made that and put that in here. And then I went ahead and made it where this would smelt up uh, to thicken glass and then I went ahead and put the recipe for the uh, dark glass you might have seen that already uh, here and here so that's how we made the glass the darkened glass. Now the the reason why I made these is because you can actually see in here but light will not get in here. So that's the reason why I made these. It's that way I could see what the heck was going on up in here. So and I made this out of uh, dirt which I still need to put more dirt in there but I'll do that here in a little bit. Um, I went ahead and created two demonic slates and now what we'll need
we need two of these elemental inscription tools dusk which is just a block of coal and 2000 LP so let's go ahead and make a block of coal so we need two of these And we will put the this in here. Got that one. And place the last one up in here. All right. Now we got two of the elemental dusks. So now I think we've got everything that we need to actually make a Ritual Diviner Dusk. So we'll need our demonic slates. These and our divine ritual. And we'll just come down here and make it in here. Put these here, put those there, and these two right there. And that makes our Ritual Diviner Dusk. And the reason why we need this Uh, let's see here. Okay. We need Well of suffering. This is what we're needing right here. Right, we finally found it. So, uh, so now we need to go ahead and create a chest. We need. Uh, let's go with. Four. We need item. We need item collectors. We need three more of those. We need some more dirt. And we need to come down here. Whoa. See ya. Take that off. Place you there. Take you out. Place you there. Take you out, place all you there. And now what we want to do is we want to put our cursed earth in there. That should make all that cursed earth. Which it is not. Why is that not making cursed earth? Okay, uh, let me go ahead and find out exactly what's going on with this, and I'll be right back. Okay, I figured it out. Um, it did take it a while, but it actually did create all of the cursed earth. So now we've got all the cursed earth here. Whoops. So now what we want to do is we want to go ahead and place uh, 
Uh, let's see here. We want to go ahead and place these here. There we go. And that, right, yeah, okay. And then place these on top of here. There we go. And now we can go ahead and create our divine, our well of suffering. Uh, let's see here, we need Ritual stones. We need our thir thirty six ritual stones. Oh, I know what else we need. Okay, so what you do is you just right click onto this master stone and it'll automatically put all these in the proper order okay so now that we've got them in the proper order oh, let's go on to sleep Now that we've got went to sleep, now what we need is, whoops, that's not what I wanted. There we go. Uh, let's see here, a week, no, no, uh, where are you? Demon shard. Okay, we need a weak activation crystal, which takes a lava crystal, and a lava crystal is made with. Uh, Two pieces of glass. We need two pieces of glass. We need three buckets of lava. We need at least a magical blood orb, a diamond, and obsidian. So I'm going to go here, go over here, and make. Make it where it automatically makes this. I don't know why, but that's all right. And lava crystal. We are missing. Okay, that's okay. So we need. All right, now we can put this in here. We'll go ahead and refurbish this one. Go and place that one back. 
and lava crystal. Start that. And there we go. Got it. Now, how much do we actually need in our? We need ten thousand. So we've got that. That's no big deal. So we need to place that on there. I'm gonna go ahead and that is insert only take that out and check see how much we got in here we got okay we've got some down here oh my goodness gracious So we will go ahead and Okay, you need at least 50,000 LP on your deal and we want to go ahead and just right click that You feel that these rooms are not configured correctly. Okay. Should. Okay, let's go ahead and get rituals. Oh, 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 oh. okay, we got our ritual. We need our ritual stones. And see what's going on down here. Do I need, I think I need that gone, that gone, that gone, that gone. All right, now let's see here. Okay, now that we've got these completed, now we should be able to go ahead and just Okay. Okay, well, we've got enough. There it goes. Now. Alright, that's fine. Having these guys out here, that's fine. But now we will always have enough in here. So that's how you make the Well of Suffering. So now that we've got the Well of Suffering, we can relax. And we will go ahead and have all this going into extract 
always active. There we go. Now that'll always fill up. That's going to fill up quite nicely. And it should stay at 30,000. And and it's going down so our is going down so we need to put our magical orb in here and it'll always keep us filled up so there we go now we've got our well of suffering going Although this is getting annoying as all get out, but that's fine. Okay, so hopefully you uh, guys enjoyed that. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, wrap it up here. Uh, hopefully you're enjoying this series. If you are, hit the like button, subscribe to my channel. Hit the little bell so that way you get notifications whenever I put up new videos. And I'll definitely see you guys in the next episode. Thank you very much.